Hello everyone, welcome back. Part three is now in session. When we last left off in part two, I stopped at the 1995 VHS of Miracle on 34th Street, the remake. Okay, let's continue on. Next up, I have the colorized edition of Miracle on 34th Street. And this tape is still unsealed. One of the most appealing, heartwarming films come out of Hollywood's this variety. And this is the exclusive color edition. But this color version has the 1981 20th Century Fox logo at the beginning. Before that, it even has the Home Alone Christmas CD soundtrack commercial at the beginning. Next, here's the 2002 VHS of Rugrats Christmas with three merry episodes with Babes in Toyland. Episodes are Babies in Toyland, then two episodes, Falling Stars and Cuddle Bunny. Sixty-nine minutes, not rated. Here's the sticker label. The 41st week of 2002. I have uh, the Rugrats Santa experience on VHS, but I will try to dig it out in the next video. Here's the 1990 VHS of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase, also starring... Beverly D'Angelo, Randy Quaid, directed by Jeremiah S. Chick, how you pronounce the name? X, how you pronounce it? The movie's from 1989. It's part of the adult cat, I mean, the category, comedy category. You'll crack up. I laugh myself silly. Christmas Vacation, Jingle My Bell, says Pia Lindstrom of WNBC-TV New York. This replaces my 1995 reprint. Rated PG-13, and it's 97 minutes. Here's the sticker label. Here's the end label. There is a print date underneath the end label, so I'm not going to bother to peel it off. Next, the 1988 VHS of A Christmas Story with Melinda Dillon, Darren McGavin, and Peter Billingsley, directed by Bob Clark, and the movies from 1983. Here's a movie to treasure your throw, your treasure to throw your arms around and hug. It says Chicago Daily Herald. Rated PG and it's 135 minutes. For some reason, it says 1984. That's incorrect. It's 1983. Here's the sticker label. And it's no print date. I forgot to mention that this also has Johnny Galecki and Juliette Lewis is in this. For National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Next, the 1995 VHS of the Santa Claus with Tim Allen, also starring Eric Lloyd, Judge Reinhold, Rennie Crusom, and Peter Boyle, directed by John Pas Pasquin, the movies from 1994. Destined to become a holiday classic. Wonderful, good family fun, says Jeffrey Lyons of ABC TV. Rated PG and it's 97 minutes. Now, if you own the original copy of The Santa Claus or on Laserdisc, you know in one scene when Scott's ex-wife give a card 
to Scott Calvin, and he said, it says, 1-800-SPANK-ME. And, he, and Scott said he knew that number. Well, it turns out, in real life, that number turns out to be a working, inappropriate adult hotline. And that's when parents complain to Disney. So after receiving complaints from parents, Disney decided to cut that scene out on future home video releases, starting with the DVD release. On the TV broadcast of the Santa Claus, it has the 1-800-POUND-ME instead. Out on this airing on a three form, the Santa Claus airing, it used a POW master. That was taken from the UK ne Disney Channel UK network. And I know they did a Christmas story, the sequel, the one from, um, I forgot what year that is. I know they did the direct to video, but there was another one that came out. I couldn't remember what the name of it. Here's the 1987 VHS of Nutcracker, the motion picture. And this is from the Atlantic Release Corporation. This is originally released by Paramount Picture on Video. But MGM now owns the rights to the Atlantic releasing film libraries. With Pacific Northwest Ballet under Ken Stowell and Francesca Russo. I Me mean Russell. Directed by Carol Ballard. The movie's from 1986. Rady G in his 82 minutes. I have not seen this particular version. Here's the sticker label. Here's the end label. The 37th week of 1987. Right there. Next. The 1991 VHS of Babes in Toyland. With Drew Barrymore, Keanu Reeves. Also starring Richard Mulligan, Ellen Brennan. Jill Scored Sc Sc Ellen, how you pronounce it? Coogly Grest. Directed by Clive Donner in the movies, for the TV film from 1986. And this is the condensed version because it's shortened because it has some of the songs that was cut out. That was not, you won't find it on home video, but only on a TV broadcast. And this has never gotten a DVD release, but this will be a good chance for, for, um, Kino Lorbury or Olive Films. Yeah. Ready G in his 96 minutes. Here's the ink label. It's an EP mode. The print date, September 8th, 1993. And since this copy is in EP mode, we all know what this will have at the end. And it also come with the ink label, sorry, with red guard, tape guard on there. Fun fact, Drew Barrymore did not sing. Mm -mm, because somebody else lip sync, um, yeah, the lips, yeah, Lisa, they dub, um, uh, Drew Barrymore song with Lisa. Next, the 1991 VHS of It's a Wonderful Life. This is the 40th, 45th anniversary with James Stewart and Donna Reed. And, yep, this is directed... This is awesome. Frank Capra. And this is from 1946. Not rated in its 160 minutes. The film is 132 minutes. That's why. And also has original theatrical trailer. And, um... I believe it's directed by Frank Capra. I'm not so sure. But if someone knows, let me know. 
In the meantime, here's the ink label. The print date is November 9th, 1994. Next, the 1997 VHS of this brand spanking new Doug. Wait a minute, I did, yeah, I, did, I think I did um, show this off. No, uh-uh, I didn't. But this is Doug's Secret Christmas. I believe it was aired on ABC back in 1996. And I remember they made a full-page ad on Disney, um, yes, yeah, Disney Adventure Magazine, when they named, named Doug's new baby. 44 minutes, not rated. Here's the ink label. The print date is August 15th, 1997. Next... The 1990 VHS of Christmas in July with Dick Powell and Ellen Drew, also starring R Raymond Walburn, William Damaris, and Ernest Truex, directed by Preston Sturges in the movies from 1940. And this is a Paramount movie, which is given to Universal as part of film classics. Nineteen forty film renewed in 1967. Not rated as one hour and seven minutes. Here's the sticker label, and it's got the 1997 Universal logo plastered with the 1985 copyright focus right here. Tape number is 150. The 48th week of night of 2000s. Here's the 1986 VHS of Mickey's Christmas Carol. And this is a 21-minute a movie with Mickey, Donald, and Goofy and Scrooge McDuck. 25 minutes, ready G. Unfortunately, Cisco and Eber gave this movie two thumbs down. Here's the sticker label. The 249 day of 1987. And I'm going to show you one more tape before we go to part four. And that is the 1990, no, 1989 VHS of White Christmas. Yeah. With Ben Crosby. Also has... Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, directed by Michael Curtis, and the film is from 1954. The first film to use in stereo enhanced. Uh, not rated in its 120 minutes. I think I did show this off. If not, it must be deja vu. Here's the end label. Uh, let's see. Uh, 49th week of 1990. Here's the Moni Sound Barcode. Alright, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for part four.